Howdy gang, um, some quick form run drills. Actually, these drills are more to focus on cadence. Um, no matter what your cadence wants to be, somewhere between like 100 and 180. Um, there's lots of smarter folks than me that kind of um, talk about why cadence matters. But hey, getting into that nice rhythm uh, has been something that when I focus on the rhythm and the tempo, um, actually just makes uh, running more enjoyable. So. Um, um, I'm going to do all of these at about something that would um, represent close to 180 um, strokes um, a minute. Um, this first drill is actually going to be hopping. Um, you'll see in this one that it's going to be 90. I'm going to be trying to work it at 90 per minute uh, because both feet are going at the same time. But uh, for the others where we're kind of going single leg or form run, um, that's where we're at. So um, kind of the way I'll use tempo. Um, on recovery runs, I'm either going to look to just breathe in and out through my nose or when I'll periodically check during a run, I'll start my stopwatch and see if I'm hitting um, around 100 strokes a minute. But when I'm at like a training pace and trying to push tempo, um, I'm looking to be somewhere closer to 180. And then anywhere in there, um, just take a gauge for it. It gives you a real cool sense for what you're doing, why you're efforting, and maybe give you some ideas of um, you know, developing some efficiencies while you run. So um, these are four drills that I generally like to do before I go on any sort of a run. Starting our run progression, um, what to do with the hands. Um, the hands really help keep balance and it can set the tempo. I know that when I'm trying to drive up a hill, rather than thinking about how much my legs suck, I think about punching and hammering up. So here's what that concept looks like. Sit straight, posture up, big chest, and we have a punch and a hammer. And then we can switch. We want to keep the hands close, keep the hands relaxed, and think punch up, hammer down. Nice and simple. We can make it more aggressive. And again, if you really want to apply the idea of cadence, um, you can count the strokes. And again, I don't like gadgets to count things for me. I start a stopwatch. And then I put the idea that I want to hit in my head, and then I'll stroke till I get to that number, and then I check. And then based off of that check, I need to go a little faster and a little slower to mimic that pacing that I might want to attempt in training that day. For instance, um, I'm going to go in 30 seconds and try to get uh, 90 strokes in, and that should mimic my 180 um, cadence pace. So I'll wait 10 seconds, three, two, and. Okay, a little off, a little slow. So I was a couple strokes off the 30 seconds, but a couple points of performance. Again, punch up, hammer down, keep, keep everything going straight in line with your body as much as possible. The more things get away from the body, the more we lose balance. Also kind of stroking too hard. So I always have, I think, pocket to chin and switch. Pocket to chin, and then, you know, about 90 degrees. Loose, long, and relaxed, and think shoulders you know, if we're trapped up here, we're using energy to do that. Shoulders back and down, nice and easy. Okay, so um, enjoy. Uh, the first one is a basic hop. And again, the way I'll run it, I'll have my watch going and I'll just periodically check in. So with this first drill, I'll get to 90 as quickly and easily as I can. And then um, I'll check my watch to see how close I am to that minute. So your basic hop. Very nice, a couple kind of points of performance. Um, be a ninja, right? Uh, four foot touches, heel kiss, come up. We want the knees to kind of shoot forward and the body and torso to stay upright. The next one, um, a basic skip. Again, with this one, I'll focus on one leg at a time here. We're focusing on that pull. So I'll show you what it looks like.
with the other leg. Points of performance here for both legs. We want this, um, you're, um, you're gonna post up on this leg, keep it straight. Notice I'm trying to keep that heel off the ground. It's kind of getting you ready for um, your support leg and your stroke. And then your pull leg, look. Heel up to hip, toe down, knee forward, and then your hands too. Kind of a punch and hammer. Opposite arm, opposite leg. So as that left leg pulls up, right arm, kind of punches up and then hammer down. Boom. That's what we're looking for. Your basic run in place. And once we get up to this one, here's where we're really gonna focus on trying to get that maybe nice rhythm you're looking for. Um, try to mimic it. Generally when I go into this warm up, um, I use this one, I'm always gonna shoot for that 180 just so I can feel it. Again, it's really hard to run in place wrong. So you kind of put it all together now. And that's it, run in and play. So we go from arm stroke in the seated position to a basic hop where we're trying to get a bouncy to a skip where we focus on one leg at a time doing their job, supporting and pulling. And then we go to the basic run where we put our cadence together.